everybody and welcome on my channel. This is Alexon from Angel Carter Mency, and it's my pleasure to welcome you today on this new video series. So to uh, actually re reward you and to thank you for your support, for your love and for subscribing to the channel and making all this good stuff, I really wanted to uh, reward each and every one of you and I wanted to give you all a reading. Okay, so I thought that I should do an annual reading using the Lunar Mark Oracle for each of the zodiac signs. Okay, so these are general reading, and it's a month by month reading where you will find uh, information, guidance, messages that will really help you get the most of your year 2018. I also advise you to check the videos that uh, actually matches your, uh, your moon sign, your rising sign, to get even more uh, wonderful and beautiful messages. So I look forward to your subscription, to your comments, and I leave you with your reading and wish you all a wonderful 2018. Hey Pisces, Alexandre here and welcome on your uh, Astro Reading for 2018. We're going to use the Lenormand Oracle cards to have a sneak peek of what uh, energy, event, situation that you're going to deal with in uh, the year 2018. So this is a general reading and if you want to have a personal one tailor-made for you with your questions, and expectations you will find a link in the description box below that will uh, give you more information and even order uh, a reading if you're interested into that so without further ado let's uh, deal your cards and see what the year has in store and also don't forget to subscribe like and share and I also advise you to have a look at the video that is aligned to your uh, rising sign, to your moon sign, to get even more uh, information. Okay, we have tell your uh, your cards in uh, in uh, a circle, and each position will represent uh, a month in the year. And you will have a combination of three cards uh, per month, and see what are the major uh, things you need to know and will affect you in 2018. So starting with January, we have the dog, we have the clover, and we have the bouquet, okay? So this is a beautiful meeting, um, uh, talking about a lucky friend who will be uh, maybe meeting a beautiful woman, or well, this good friend of yours had been, you know, not really lucky with women. And then in general, way, you, he is sharing that with you that maybe he had uh, met someone who he likes a lot. And yeah, there is a beautiful connection here. Uh, the month of January, friendship is very positive, okay? Friendship, relationship, partnership is really, really good. It's a, a month where, uh, yeah, there will be nice things happening, nice surprise, sharing, joy, little joy. joy. Um, yeah, it's a very positive month to start the year for you, Pisces. Then we move to February. February we see that there is uh, uh, like you know a cut off in communication okay for yourself there is uh, maybe a man uh, in your life that will you know you will cut communication from or this person may be moving away from you uh, there will be also yeah like we say in French uh, silence radio which means you know no one on the phone and uh, yeah it will be a month of really questioning yourself of why people are um, like you know going away 
and not listening to what you have to say okay so even if you need to talk to someone I will not advise you to talk to this person in the month of February communication is not that good it's like a, a retrograde thing happening there March is a month of decision okay you need to decide it could be work it could be related also to uh, a stable group of person or getting into involving in, in a group it can be a work group a teamwork it can be also like you know uh, having priorities for many people uh, yeah it's really you know things are splitting here in work and there is like opportunities like new jobs opportunities coming to you and you really need to have a look closely to it particularly if you're looking for changing jobs and you know this kind of thing so be cautious there and you know you can use that in your advantage as well okay so April is a month where um, there will be a lot of negative torque okay uh, it's it will be also a sexual month for many people okay with the whip and the snake here uh, a younger man with an older lady it could be a relation sex friends you know a lot about that happening for, uh, for you in the month of April okay uh, there is also a lot of talking you know it could be talking about uh, like uh, dirty texting or dirty messages happening there it could be also an argument with a, with a woman or a woman writes to you about something that had wound her heart or had deceived her or it could be a woman that reproaches you the way that you treated her maybe you thought that it was a sex relationship and she finally fall in love and you know uh, reproaching your lack of um, of feelings okay so then we move to the month of May May is a month of re restructure it's like you know you want to keep your heart from others locking it in a tower so that nobody can access it you would have the feeling that you had shared too much with people and then they are using it in their own way um, it's also a month where maybe you will find a new home that you love it could be a house or a building it could be also uh, having an intimacy that get up to the uh, next level so there is some intriguing things happening it could be learning some something as well and here even then you know listen to your heart there is no danger there there is no dangerous card around the heart which is great okay so June June there is the stork the ring and the stars giving us a sense that things are moving forward in a great and positive way you are committed to make things happen you have hope you want things to uplift and expand you want your relationship and partnership to go to the next level and go the highest possible highest level possible okay so it, it's also about deals about uh, you know deals about traveling because of the stars and the stork are signs of of travel you know flying in the sky and the stars there it could be an airplane flight so something there uh, concerning you know flight and traveling and positive commitment then we move to july july is a successful month things look you know tough right things look tough look difficult look you know it's a pain in the ass if you can use that expression but still you know you will work your uh your way out okay you will deal with things you will find handy solution and you will try to fix things okay it's a really great month um particularly if you want to open up your spiritual side 
this would be a wonderful month. August. August is a time where there are some obstacles and some difficulties. You're not able to take any decision. You're not able to judge a, a, a situation. Uh, there is lack of information, lack of clarity. And yeah, don't be too spontaneous because you're going to hit rock bottom. So be cautious. Don't take any decision. Let the clouds disperse itself. And yeah, you will be able to see things happening afterwards. So September, September, it's all about money. It's about income. It's about transaction. It can also be you uh, buying uh, a car or a motorcycle, more, no motorcycle, uh, transportation. And yeah, it's positive in any sense whatever you're going to do will be prosperous particularly it, it if it involves money and moving around and you know domestic travel this would be a great thing using it for delivery or uh, these kind of, uh, of things is positive with a the fish there is prosperity there is flow and with the bear it's strong it become bigger and it's protected <coughs> October, <coughs> sorry, October is a month of health for you. You will pay extra attention to your health and to your feelings. Your mood will not be that good. You will be a little bit lunatic. You will may be on your nerves and um, not really knowing why you're so upset. You're upset, but you can't see the uh, the the reason for that. So try to keep a positive mindset and detach from the situation. Use your intuition to really help you get uh, out of there, okay? But with the combination of the tree and the moon, it's always, you know, a um, health situation that involves your, um, your thoughts, the way that you see yourself, the way that you look, the way that you love yourself as well, okay? So October is a month of traveling for work. It's also a good transition in the workplace. It could be like a contract is coming um, from afar. It could be also uh, yourself uh, knowing this would describe the secret. It will be something about a change in the world and you are perhaps the only person to know when, how and when. And yeah, you can use this information for your own uh, interest, if we can tell, because the, the, the fox is about being selfish and thinking about bringing food on the table without, you know, having any uh, resentment. So this is December. And December is about stress, okay? There will be, um, you will not be able to do the things that you had planned to do. And yeah, it's, yeah, you will not be able to really, uh, like, you know, do the things that you had wanted to. You will need to be patient again here and let things happen, let things unfold and develop themselves before taking any decision. Yeah, it's, it will be quite stressful. You will lose your patience and lose your, uh, your wisdom, if I can say, but you will be able to move forward, you know, fearlessly. Okay, so these were your reading for 2018. Hope it helped you understand where the year is bringing you. Okay, and yeah, if there is any uh, information that you would need about this reading, I would love to uh, read it in the comment below. And yeah, if you're asking yourself what deck I am using for this video, these are were my classic Le Normand, but they had been uh, renamed, rebaptized to the Alexandre Mastrak, my name, Le Normand Oroco cards, as it had got a publishing contract with Schiffer Publishing. And the deck is coming out in spring 2018, and there will be a companion book that will be also available to teach you how to do these awesome readings and understand how the system works. Okay, so I'm leaving you with these and you can pre-order the deck. 
uh, from Amazon, from Barnes and Nobles, from Schiffer Publishing themselves. And yeah, of course, don't forget to subscribe, to share it with your friends, and to come back when you feel the need to have more, you know, uh, information about a particular month or a particular time of the year. Okay? So I'm sending you love, light, and blessing, and talk to you soon.